It's the weekend and your stories are Bitcoin Cash Hard Fork, Shapeshift CEO faces SEC scrutiny, and Bitcoin Pop Art. Why, hello world, you are watching the comment right here on ETH News. The Bitcoin Cash blockchain split at 18.02 UTC on Thursday, and yet the prophesized hash war has yet to materialize. On November 6th, Craig Wright, the proponent of the new Bitcoin SV chain, suggested by tweet that SV miners could potentially attack and kill off a rival chain, leading the community to speculate on the ramifications of a full hash war. There was even a website dedicated to it, hashwars.cash, where the different chains were represented by Star Wars characters. Bitcoin ABC is Han Solo, Chewbacca, and Poe Dameron, while Bitcoin SV is Darth Vader, a stormtrooper, and the Emperor. So far, everyone is behaving, but as two chains, while separate networks, are forks from the same master chain, Bitcoin SV could theoretically launch a 51% attack against its sister chain, Bitcoin ABC, if it should ever gain dominance. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission is investigating Salt Lending Holdings Incorporated, a cryptocurrency collateral lending platform affiliated with crypto exchange Shapeshift AG CEO Eric Voorhees. In question are if Salt Lending Holdings token sale should have been registered as a securities offering, how the token sale proceeds were used, how the tokens were issued, and if Voorhees violated a 2014 SEC settlement that banned him from participating in token sales and ICOs. Shapeshift has been accused of allowing suspected criminals to effectively launder money by converting Bitcoin to Monero, which is virtually untraceable. Voorhees entered an SEC settlement in 2014 following accusations that he conducted an illegal public offering for an internet gambling company. He agreed to pay $50,000 in fines and to neither raise funds in private markets nor serve as an officer in a firm that fundraises in this manner. The SEC complaint was confirmed by a Salt Lending Holdings executive and noted that Voorhees was an early contributor to the company, but no longer serves in any formal role. A new project from cryptocurrency artist and propagandist Hoddle Crypto called Bitcoin for Any Party takes inspiration from Andy Warhol's famous work, Campbell Soup Cans. The series features six Bitcoin soup labels detailing qualities of the coin that six separate ideological groups, Democrats, Republicans, Libertarians, crypto anarchists, social justice supporters, and even the alt-right would find appealing. The artwork focuses on the ideological commodity that Bitcoin represents rather than its monetary value. Hoddle Crypto calls the depictions plastered on the cans selling points, as the series attempts to sell the concept of Bitcoin to six different groups. For example, the Republican can highlights the free market nature of Bitcoin. Whereas the social justice can proclaims, in rainbow lettering might I add, works for all humans no matter what. Although the artwork is visually interesting itself, the series serves as a greater educational purpose. By appropriating the likeliness of a famous work of art, Bitcoin for any party adds a layer of commercial appeal to intrigue viewers who may not be familiar with the crypto space or who are interested in learning more about it. And that is my comment for the weekend. And it's time to tell me yours. Will the Bitcoin cash hard fork turn ugly? Has the SEC been cracking down on malicious actors lately? And is art that copies another artist truly art? Let me know what you think. Have a wonderful weekend. And as always, don't forget to leave a comment. Join me back here on the comment to hear my take on the day's top crypto and blockchain stories. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Like this video and share it with your friends on social media. To make sure you get all the newest episodes, click on the alert button. That's that bell looking button by the word subscribe. Follow me on social media at, at ETHNewsy. That's at ETHNewsi. And I will see you next time.